I'm talking about linear programming problems. Pretty interesting and pretty great fun. In fact, uh, many of the times you will see that uh, students also do a lot of projects based upon these particular concepts only or, or, or these ideas. So let's see, where do we use it, right? Where, where exactly this, this entire theory or the picture will come up. So I'll give you first of all the definition. It's a very simple phenomena, very simple exercise and very simple problems to solve as well. Okay, everyone. So we say that linear programming is a particular way or it's the process by which, right? We find the optimal value, right? You, you, you must have heard about the word optimization, right? So in optimization, what do we do? Whatever the context and the scenarios are there, whatever the given circumstances and the situations are there, we'll try to get the best out of them. Right. In terms of mathematics, we say that we want to have either, so, so best thing may happen in terms of maximizing something or in minimizing something, right? Let's say if I want to maximize the output or I want to minimize the effort, right? So you understood, right? The best thing could happen or the optimization may result into a maximizing or minimizing both. So it says that it's a process of finding optimal value. So optimal value could be a maximum or a minimum value of anything, right? Okay. And it involves those linear functions, which we call it as objective functions, right? So that will be the objective, which I have to, uh, rather that objective function I want to, uh, let's say maximize. Let's say if I want to, I have a factory, I'm a manufacturer, and uh, let's say in that factory, I want to have the maximum output, right? So these kind of things, okay? So uh, that output or, or the output that I want to maximize it, that output will decide a certain objective function which I have to maximize or minimize according to the given conditions okay so we say that we have a linear function objective function of some variables the variables you have to decide based upon the problem okay subject to some linear constraints so there will be constraints which will particularly be linear right some with something like 2x plus 3y equal to 4 so they will not give you those straight lines in some questions they might give you in the initial ones but later on from the general real life problem, you have to figure out those equations on your own. But all those equations will be linear problems or linear relations itself. So there will be linear constraints, which constraints could be equality or inequality, both. Okay, varies from question to question. Let's see a general scenario. All right, you have noted it down. So it's clearly a process of optimizing a certain objective function, right? Maximizing or minimizing depending upon the situation, using some linear constraints, right? And the constraint could be the equality or inequality, anything. Let's quickly get started. So as I was saying, let me take you to one certain scenario. So what is happening? Let's say Olympic situation. And there is an Indian Olympic uh, athlete who was, so, so, so there's a certain dietitian, right? They want to give some certain portions of proteins and vitamins to our athletes. And based upon that, they want to have these things. Just look at it. So dietitian of Indian Olympic uh, athlete makes two kinds of food. So the foods are X and Y, such that the mixture contains at least 10 units of vitamin A and 12 units of vitamin B and 8 units of vitamin C. So basically, they want our athlete to have vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, all the three vitamins. Let's say I have primarily they talk, want to talk about these three uh, vitamins only. Okay. Proteins will come up in another question. All right. Okay. All right. So we have the dietitian and the Olympic athlete, right? So let's get started. So what do we have with us? Dietitian says that you need these three vitamins, right? Can you see these three vitamins appearing on that particular page or the, or the diet chart that she is showing you? Let me zoom it for you. So I am zooming out those vitamins. So vitamins are what? These are vitamin A, right? Vitamin B and vitamin C. Good for us. Perfect. So these are the three vitamins you, you are able to see the sources also. That's up to you. We are not interested. It's not a biology class, but you know that there are kind of sources for this. Ultimately, we need three types of vitamins. We need vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin Z. All right. Perfect. Now, the idea is that they want at least 10 units of vitamin A, 12 units of vitamin B, and 8 units of vitamin C. Okay. So now, what is the situation? This is what the context scenario is there. And I want to have a... Uh, the, uh, a diet chart for it. So what does it say? It says that let's say there is a certain food. So there will be two types of food, X and Y. That's how the matrix that we form here, right? Or table, whatever you call it. You may call it table, you may call it matrix. So in this matrix, what is happening? On one side, we have food. So we have food X and food Y. Now, these are the only two types of food that we are providing, right? And we just have to keep in our mind that there will be some quantity of 
food X and food Y such that the vitamin content should be should be done, right? Or uh, it should fulfill that. Okay, perfect. So it says that for vitamin A, they want to have one portion of X and two portion of Y. For vitamin B content, they want to have like two portion of X and one portion of Y. Sorry, two portion of Y. And for vitamin C, they want to have three portion of X and one portion of Y. Okay, so that's what the the uh, the food X and food Y have the ingredients in that, right? Okay. Now, so vitamin consists of one kg of food or as follows, right? So if you take up that one kg of that food X, that will contain vitamin A one unit, vitamin B two unit, vitamin C three unit, and similarly for food Y, the one kg of vitamin food, uh, sorry, one kg of food Y will have vitamin A two units, vitamin B of two units, and uh, vitamin C of one unit. My aim is that anyhow, I should have 10, vit uh, 10 units of vitamin A, 12 units of vitamin B, and 8 units of vitamin C. So now look, look, look at the situation here. What is happening? It says that if 1 kg of food X costs, let's say 16 rupees. Now, further question is coming up. The question was not done there, right? It was just the, 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 the matrix was given to you, or the distribution was given to you for the food X and food Y with respect to their vitamin content. Okay. The question is originally this, this one. Read that carefully. It says that if 1 kg of fruit X costs 16 rupees and 1 kg of fruit, uh, sorry, food Y contains, or rather, uh, it costs rupees 20. So for 1 kg of food X, 16 rupees. For 1 kg of food Y, 20 rupees. Okay. The least cost of the mixture, can you see that? They want to give them some certain least amount of, so we are talking about least, least cost of the mixture. So first of all, you have to decide what is the least amount that we require and accordingly we can decide the least cost, right? Okay, so the least cost of mixture which will produce the required diet can be found out by using mathematical prop. Now, did you understand what is happening here? So, for food X, for 1 kg, they have given some price. For 2 kg, they have given some price. Sorry, for Y, uh, for, for the food Y, they have given the price for the as, let's say, rupees 20. They want to have the some minimum cost of that mixture, right? See, when they will give you, they give you the mixture of food X and food Y such that all the vitamin content should be, should, should be fulfilled, like, 10 units of vitamin A, like that, those requirements. Okay, and at the same time, then we'll see what is the minimum cost of it. All right, now, this is a real life problem. And in all such problems, when you come across it, to it they are all solved with these, these, these linear programming methods, right? We make up, we, we have this X and Y, we have this vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. So we try to make those equations, right? Based upon that only, those linear inequalities. All right, and then we try to see how we can actually get this. Let's say if we have taken, for example, uh, whatever the amount that we have taken for it. So vitamin A content is one, right, in the food X. So let's say I've taken X amount of food X into one plus Y amount of food Y into two. This is the vitamin A content. And I know that this must contain at least 10 units. So this has to be greater than or equal to 10 vitamin A content. Right, this is the kind of inequality that you decide x plus 2y greater than or equal to 10, and something like similarly for vitamin B, vitamin C, and then we'll try to find out the finally the least cost of that mixture, right, for the diet of a certain athlete. Okay, now, so uh, this is just an example that I've given you, we are not solving this question, guys, we are not solving it, it's just for the reference sake that I've given you so that you can get used to it. Okay, this is how the question are asked. 